wonder what they're preparing to do. It's a, it's a mystery even to me. Alright, so... We gotta go to the silver... Or the lazy... Lazy A dude ranch. Off to the side of the trail, you spot a little cluster of gin blossoms. It's strange to see them growing so far away from Allison Road, which is their native habitat. <laughs> you squeeze as much gin from the blossoms as you can manage without damaging the plant, and we got blossom gin. Hey, dude. What's up? Yes, here's your army. Here's your hat, and I got the strange head sack. Okay. Let's see what it does. What does this do? Oh, it's silver plated and it has ma it, oh, the maximum AP. Yeah, but only plus one muscle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I look like a, I look like a stupid fidget spinner. Ah, let's go to the circus. Well, this is a little weird. You didn't expect to find a circus all the way out here. There's basically nobody around for miles. There's a rodeo clown manning the ticket booth. Well, there hasn't actually been a rodeo since the cows came home, so I guess he's just a clown. Ah, clowns. Yeah, I hear ya. Them fellas put me right off my feed. They're creepy. When I was little, my uncle would give me nightmares with old stories about them. Oh, sure, you mean the old tales about demon cows and demon clowns fighting down in hell? Yeah, and how rodeo clowns dress up like that because the first rodeos were reenactments of those battles, and it became a traditional thing. <laughs> I remember them stories from when I was a youngin' my myself. Ain't thought about it in that in decades. Don't be fouling your britches, though. These clowns is just fellas in makeup. Yeah, but it still keeps me out. As you, approach, as you approach, the clown puts on that basically cheerful facial expression that retail employees use when the last thing they want to deal with is a customer, but they're not allowed to say so. Oh boy, Granny Kickass knows all about that, and so do I. Welcome to Barnaby Bob's Perfectly Normal Traveling Circus Sideshow, sir. How can I help you? I'd like to run away with the circus, please. Heh. Aren't you a little too old for that? Sorry, we aren't hiring. Damn it. I guess I'll see the circus. Well, you came to the right place then. But if you want it inside, you'll need to get me... You'll need the tickets. And you can presumably sell me one? Well, certainly I can. That's my job, after all. For you, sir, a ticket will cost 5,000 meat. Why is it so expensive? Well, now this ain't no podunk little traveling circus. We got rides, games, food, and an amazing demonstration of knife throwing skill by none other than Barnaby Bob himself. Uh, tell me about the rides. Well, I suppose I should say ride, but we haven't had a single grizzly merry-go-round accident since, uh, well, since we stopped turning it on. What about the games? I've got tons of tons of them. Does three count, it, count as tons? Tell me about the food. We've got your favorites. Popped corn, sarsaparilla with the fancy new bottle caps, and get this. Did you hear about that new thing a fella invented? Cotton candy? Yeah, I think I might have. Well, it's still patented, but we're pretty sure we figured out how it works. Mostly. More or less. Tell me more about Barnaby Bob. Oh, the master is... The boss is a real master of knives, let me tell you. He does this amazing stunt where he gets a volunteer from the audience up on stage and he throws knives at them. He never misses a t his target. Did you leave out the part where he puts an apple on their head or something? What? Oh, right, sure. You know, you're not doing a very good job of selling me on this, Mr. Clown, because... It sounds like Barnaby Bob just straight up, kill straight up kills people, okay? And I'm gonna intimidate the clown. You plant your hands on the counter and lean in towards the clown with a snarl. I mean I'm I mean I'm sick of being played for a fool! 
You think I'm gonna shell out that much meat to get into a dive like this? You've got another thing coming. Are you gonna give me a ticket or am I gonna punch your ticket? The clown grin showing you a mouthful of yellow, unusually pointy teeth. Think you're a real tough cookie, eh? Listen, bucko. Listen good, bucko. All I have to do is shout and you're a new sideshow exhibit. We'll call it the amazing b crying bag of mulch. But hey, it'll get you in for free. How's that plan grab you? God damn it, 5,000 meat? We only have 650. God damn it. Well, I guess we can always go uh, to the Butterfield Ranch. You're rattling noise behind you. Another rattling noise off to your left, and the third rattling noise from somewhere ahead. You've concluded that you've either stumbled into a nest of babies or a nest of rattlers. A quick glance confirms that it's the latter. Not unexpectedly, really. This is no place for babies. Oh, how much he... Oh, he whiffed. Wait, why am I still poisoned? I already see that things are not going to go very well. A can of tuna? You, you're gonna have to deal with this cow if you want to explore the area. Okay, well. Ah, why are you attacking Susie? What's she ever do to you, you bastard? One to two stench damage. Yeah. Tainted beefsteak, more thick leather. <sighs> okay. Can I? I need to level up, I think. Um. 63, ouch. I think I might have to go for intimidating again to see if I can scare that clown even more. I got a red hot poker. Is that a melee weapon? It is, but I don't think it deals as much as the. No. Six to nine, the cavalry saber is eight to nine, the fancy knife is seven to nine, yeah. You notice some words carved into the side of the outhouse. Curly was here. You recognize that name. Curly, Curly Butterfield, the legend of Curly's meat. Looks like maybe this outhouse is worth investigating. Luckily, you don't have to actually go inside the outhouse, because once you open the door, you find a map scratched in onto the inside of it. The map reveals the location of a mine just west of the ranch, labeled Coal Ridge. There's an inset map of the mine itself, with a big X scrawled between three strange triangular icons. To your horror, you see that every single cow in the Butterfield Dairy Herd is now an Ungulith, an infernal cow spirit bound in stone. You know what? Yeah, let's take them on. Alright, wow, Susie's getting stronger. Yep, time to fight. Pretty sure I can just kill this one. 
Yep, there we go. Oh, there's an infinite number of them? God damn it. Well, okay, it's another new grinding spot. A wave of heat hits you from behind. You turn around to see a hellcat pawing the ground and eyeing you with ill intent in its dead black demonic eyes. There, fuck off, cow. Why are there lockers here? There's a row of lockers here. Must have been used for storing the personal effects of the fellers who used to work the mine. The first one is labeled Ellisbury WM and doesn't have a lock on it. The label on the second one is covered in some kind of white goo. Ew. The third one is labeled Loose Ben and has a combination lock. Okay, well, time to open the second locker. You open the door to reveal a skeleton covered in the same white goo that was on the outside of the locker. Ah, oh, you get it. This guy must have died after his co-workers played a prank on him where they stuffed him into his locker and then filled it with shaving cream. I can't believe you dang jerk stuffed me into my locker and then filled it with shaving cream. I died from that. <laughs> he also skeleton. Confirming both your insight and his vengeful murderous intent. Okay, listen, Mr. Skeleton, I am gonna punch the shit out of you, okay? And then you're gonna get shot. Okay, well, open the first locker then. Hey, we got a helmet and a bottle of laudanum. It's an exposed meat vein. Now let's go deeper. Tie her up to the crossbeam and climb down. Is there an evil calf? What the hell? Oh, I got Curly's compass. Okay. Does that help me? Oh, well, this doesn't look good. I hate... I guess I hate that spiral. Ew, it's a bleeding, it's a bleeding meat vein. Time to take the pickaxe. Okay, despite the game how the game looks, okay, this has been this is being a very cool game so far. I don't have any new place to go though. Oh hey, the snake pit mine. Yeah, cool. Let's go to the snake pit mine. You look at the mining equipment, you have no idea what any of it does. I'll, I'll ask Susie to explain it to me. Hey, Susie, what? I just want to tell you about some of this mining stuff. Um, okay. So first here, this is an automatic 
Jack Rock. Jack Rock Powderer. Jack Rock Powderer. And this thing over here, this thing is used to extract black slag and then grind it. <laughs> and the third machine is uh, a, a wet ash dredger. It converts meat into sulfur into uh, rubble into hard peat, yes. What does Mind Splainer do? Oh, cool. Like this? Hey! A floral ring, interesting. Oh, god damn it. There's a, there's a, I can't get to the suspicious cactus that's all alone. Why not? A snake, eh? Time to fight. Oh, that is so cool. Ah, oh, smoking snake, huh? That is un- that is unhealthy. If I didn't do it, cancer would have done it anyway. Oh, the den is full of snake eggs, eh? Yeah! Boss fight! Okay, well, uh... I think I'll... side quests? Okay, what about the main quest? We're gonna move on westward, I recommend. Oh yeah, the, uh... The, the railroad. Let's see if anyone else in Dirtwater needs stuff done.